Your life will change when you realize you can use these common things this way. There are a lot of common items that we see lying around each day, and even dispose of sometimes, without realizing that they can be repurposed for other things. In today's video, we'll be looking at some of the most common things whose alternate uses can change your life. Common salt. We kick off a list of common items with one that literally has common attached to its name. While common salt is an item that you are sure to find in any kitchen cabinet you open, thanks to the delight it adds to meals, salt serves more than just sauce. Pun intended. First off, that white powdery material sitting in your kitchen or dining table can be the salvation of your favorite shirt that got stained by wine. Start by absorbing as much of the spill as possible, making sure not to rub it in. After that, apply the salt into the affected area. Feel free to be liberal about the application. Once applied, let the salt settle there for at least 10 minutes. When the time elapses, just rinse the clothing off with cold water. Depending on the level of the stain, the material, and color of the stained surface, you might need to repeat the process a few times for it to clean off completely. Another very big use for salt is getting your candle to burn without dripping the wax all over your surfaces. Just soak the candle in salt water for a few hours and you should have a drip-free light-up. Petroleum Jelly Petroleum jelly has been saving the human skin since the late 1800s. But apart from helping keep the skin soft and moisturized, it also serves other purposes that are not exactly skin-related. First off, rubbing a thin layer of petroleum jelly on the insulations of your car door helps ensure that when we get into the peak of winter, the cars do not freeze shut. If you'd like to keep the nosy ants that never get tired of gathering crumbs out of your doggy's bowl, then petroleum jelly can also help. By coating the exterior of the bowl with a thin layer of jelly, you can keep the ants outside and away from your pooch's food. The final extra use for petroleum jelly is for pedicure and manicure. Swabbing the outline of your nails with a little petroleum jelly ensures that your nail polish does not stick to your skin keeping your manicures and pedicures as neat as possible. Honey. People describe raw organic honey as one of nature's superfoods, and this is because apart from being very healthy, it can also save your life, literally. Just before we get into that, honey can be used to help ease the plague of a hangover. According to the Royal Society of Chemistry, fructose, which is present in honey, is believed to help speed up the metabolism of alcohol in the body. So. The next time you party a little harder than your body can take, you could either take a tablespoon of honey or add it to other items like herbal tea or warm water. You can also moderately use as a spread for your toast. Now to the life-saving part. Honey is said to be both antimicrobial and antibacterial, which means the bad stuff that causes infections cannot grow in it. If you have raw honey when you or another suffers a minor burn, cut or scrape, just use it like you would any regular ointment. It will provide you from getting any infections which might potentially be deadly. Just make sure you apply petroleum jelly around the area just like we mentioned earlier to keep the ants out. Olive oil. Here is another item that you would find in almost every household. Olive oil is one of the most easily accessible heart healthy oils. It's great for cooking and not as harmful as other types of oils. So what else is this oil capable of doing? First off, Olive oil can be used to remove paint from the human skin. If you have paint stuck in you, you don't need gas or kerosene to get it out. All you have to do is create a mixture of olive oil and a small quantity of granulated sugar or salt. This mixture accompanies two missions, by easily removing the paint and also moisturizing and exfoliating the skin. For those of us who don't have all the time in the world to do skin care, this is great news. Everybody has experienced the nightmare of having grass sticking to your blades while you mow the lawn, or having snow stuck to your shovel when it's winter. Using olive oil on your lawnmower blades and snow shovels will completely eliminate these two common problems, making these yard works 10 times better. Olive oil also works for getting a good shine on your leather shoes and even getting gum out of your hair. So many uses. Coffee grounds. Coffee needs no introduction. There are people who can never go a day without a cup of hot black coffee. But what most people do not know is that their coffee grounds could be a solution to some of their regular household problems. Coffee grounds make great fertilizers for your acid-loving plants like azaleas and rhododrons. You can also use coffee grounds to eliminate odor in parts of your house and even inside your refrigerator. 
Also, if you handle food stuff that have odors like onions, garlic, or fish, rubbing coffee grounds over your hands afterwards can help get rid of the odor. Coffee filters. Here is another coffee-related item that serves multiple purposes. Coffee filters can be used to diffuse light from a camera's built-in flash when taking up-close shots. Also, they can be used to strain wine from a bottle with a broken cork. Just place the filter over a pitcher and gradually pour the wine into it. As a result of its fluted sides and cupcake shape, it allows the liquid substance to flow through the filter while preventing the grain from getting to the other side. Other important uses for coffee filters include a disposable bowl for snacks, protective covering for bowls and plates in a microwave, and preventing soil from getting out of the drainage hole of your flower pot. Drinking straws. Here is one life-changing use of a common item that ladies will appreciate the most. You know how frustrating it is when you're in a hurry to leave for an appointment and your favorite necklace is all tangled up and taking forever to be free. Well, you can prevent this problem from ever happening again with just a regular drinking straw. Take a drinking straw and cut it down to a few inches short of the full length of the necklace. Thread the necklace through it and fasten at the end. And now, you have your necklace ready to go whenever you need it. Aluminum foil. Using aluminum foil to clean your dirty pots and pans is the best you could do to get it to that level of cleanliness that you want. Just roll your cooking foil into a round ball to give you a good grip and scrub away. A pillowcase. Since we've gotten into cleaning solutions, let us chip in another that you probably never thought of. Ceiling fans can be a nightmare to clean up, but with the right tool, it becomes a breeze. <laughs> oh, pun intended. Anyways, by the right tool, I am referring to that old pillowcase that you plan to throw out soon. Just get that pillowcase, get yourself high enough to reach the fan, then place the pillowcase over the fan blade. Hold tight, then pull toward to remove all the dirt and dust. Now you can clean your ceiling fan without missing a spot and having to go back again. Mugs. Of all the items we have mentioned so far, there is none as common to every household as mugs. But apart from carrying your favorite beverages, it also serves one other purpose that you will certainly enjoy. Your regular mug can serve as a makeshift DIY speaker to help amplify the music that plays out of your smartphone. What? Yeah, you heard right. It is actually not that complex and does not require any background knowledge in electronics whatsoever. All you have to do is line the mug flat and place your phone inside while you play the music. Enjoy. Sellotape. Lilies are some of the most gorgeous flowers on the planet, but their stamens can turn them into your biggest problem yet. The rate at which they produce pollen is alarming, and at some point, this pollen could stain something within your home. Well, thankfully, your good old sellotape can help you get rid of these pollen stains. Just cut out a nice size of the sellotape and gently dab the sticky side of the sellotape on the pollen and lift your hands. The pollen will come right off. It is very important that you are careful and gentle when doing this so you don't ruin your precious lilies. Aspirin. Aspirin is the most common remedy for headaches and other general pain and inflammatory issues. However, we have come to realize that there is more to this drug than just another painkiller. If you have calluses on your feet or hands, aspirin can be the solution to softening them. All you need to do is crush about six to eight tablets of aspirin and use that to create a paste. Also adding one or two teaspoons of lemon juice and warm water. Spread the paste on the calloused area, then wrap it in a warm towel and cover it with a plastic bag. Let this stay for about 10 minutes, then scrub off with a pumice stone to take out the callus. Aspirin can also be used for making plants healthier. Moving and replanting of plants usually affects a plant's health and growth. However, with an aspirin and water solution, you can take that plant from zero to hero quickly. Another area where an aspirin and water solution can change your life is in sweat stains. You do not have to throw out any of your favorite clothes because of the ugly sweat stains in the armpit anymore. Just crush about three or four aspirin and let it dissolve into a bowl of water. Soak the stained area in the solution for a few hours and let the solution work its magic. Tin cans. Every day, a household buys at least two items that are canned. But then, after the content of these tin cans are exhausted, most often dispose of them. Meanwhile, they can actually serve other purposes in the home. Tin cans can be redecorated and reused as containers for other household items. With the right work, these can fit easily into a children's room. 
And if you don't have the time or strength to go into the creative work required, or have no kids, then you can just clean them up and use them to keep bolts and small tools organized in your garage. Well, that is the last item for today's video, and now we have got to go. Comment down below your thoughts, give this a like, share with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more interesting facts, tips, and ideas from Smartville.